The songs you are going to hear have been sung by The Electric. Hi, I'm Sabra Jade, and I'm the singer of The Electric. Fantastic. You, sir? Uh, my name is Pugs Adams, the one and only, and I uh, sometimes rap and talk with The Electric. Hello, my name is DJ Vadim, and I make beats, and uh, beats it is. There you have it. There we have it. You sort of say that this record is... is crowd tested and, and audience tested you know before you took it in and put it down on studio how do you think that produces a different sort of result as as opposed to a regular studio process like when you test it with the crowd what kind of difference do you feel in that uh well i mean for me as a rapper it's, a lot of times it means i'm less complicated in my message because i'm just trying to communicate to everybody instead of just to the people that already get it you know so it's definitely that I mean, it's just good to know, like, as when you're producing a track, what works, what doesn't work, what needs to change, and how a crowd responds to something. Um, and I mean, it wasn't, it was like, sometimes we did shows and I'd play a beat and then Sabra would, like, do something or come up with something. So it was, it was a bit like that as well. Right as just also building the track from nothing. Yeah. You know, those sometimes the tracks were there and then it would catch their attention, we'd work on it from there and but it felt pretty organic. Right on. I mean like the best example would probably be uh Toot Toot. Yeah. The main basis is like he uh had made the beat in Cumberland, Canada, and then I really had nothing to go with it and that was just what came to mind. Is and the crowd Canada? Yeah. yeah, Canada, yeah, B C Canada. Canada. In BC? In Cumberland, yeah. Cumberland. Well, I'm Canadian, I'm from Canada. Hey, yeah, mate, hey, 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 look at that. Yeah, t dot. t dot. <laughs> but yeah, it was just the crowd really went. And I mean, that's just how we went with it. You yeah. know, a lot of times, like, um, for like the remix to see Now You Know, Cyber was just singing, give it to me, give it to me, when we tried to perform it live for the first time. And I was like, ah, oh, that's the hook. That's it. We just do that. So I mean, it's just real natural. Right on. I have a question for you, Sabra. Like, were you into hip hop, or were you experiencing hip hop at all, or what kind of hip hop did you come from? You know, was it like a De La Soul kind of vibe, or more of like a, a dance party kind of vibe before you came to this project? I was definitely into hip hop. I used to sit every, maybe it was every Sunday night, and listen to like the R and B hip hop chart. And oh, right and tape on. Tape everything proper old school. Um, but I was into Slum Village, mm -hmm. Mustaf, Jill Scott, yeah. Eric Badu, so that's... Right on, right on, real soulful kind yeah, of vibe. Definitely. Yeah, definitely, and of course the beautiful vocals I was drawn into. Wow, right on. So I know that you guys, you know, you sort of came together. Vadim, you kind of mastermind this whole operation. What was it about the qualities of, of Pugs and Sabra that kind of drew you together? Like, were you, did you have a vision for the project already, or was it the specific qualities of their stylings that sort of drew you into it? Um, I didn't have a specific, we did, I didn't set out with a specific object, because Sabra and Pugs joined me on my tour when I did this album called You Can't Learn Imagination. And they were just the guest vocalists, and that's two of the guest vocalists on that album, and they were the kind of guest vocalists on the show. But, I mean, I'm always kind of making music, and I mean, both Saba and Pugs are super creative, and I don't know, it just felt really natural. We were doing things in sound checks and hotels, and this, that, and the other, that we were recording tracks, and it was, we didn't set out, or at least I didn't set out with a particular agenda of what I wanted to do, but it just, kind of organically happened. Yeah, all right. Like musical babies were born. <laughs> so you guys, it's, it's like a, a real hip-hop feel, you know, a real hip-hop soul feel. I know it's hard to genreize yourselves because you really do have this convergence of a lot of genres, which is a, an awesome quality that you bring to the table. But if you did sort of had to make a mashup of genres to categorize yourselves, how have you been doing it? How have you been telling people? How do you describe the sound of the electric? How would you do it, Sabra? Oh, superhero. Organic magic. <laughs> Mr. Uh, the soundtrack to your day, from the good times to the bad times. All right, all right. <laughs> the combination of both of those. <laughs> Did you get served on the answer? <laughs> so uh, the first, uh, the first thing that I heard from you guys that really drew my attention was that remix that you did of a flashback with Fat Freddy's Drop, that that remix of it. And uh, really and truly, like when I saw that someone had remixed that, that's one of my favorite songs of all time. Like, 
and you guys did so much justice to it. You put such a new spin on it, and you really maintained just such an awesome quality and, and took it another step further. What kind of brought that on? Like, I know that you've been in Wellington, and I'm sure you're familiar with Fat Freddy's. Like, is that kind of what brought on the collaboration, or is it that that song just spoke to you, or what kind of brought that on? I've known I've known Fat Freddy's um, as a group since about 2004. Uh, 2005 I went to see them um, I've known the producer inadvertently Moo uh, uh, Fitchy um, I've known him since like 98 I didn't even know he had a group oh really but uh, anyway I, I discovered their music in 2005 via a friend and I loved it I loved their debut album I loved the second album and at the time their first album came out in like 2005 I had a group then called One Self and we remixed a track called Case Cray yep, Case from the first album. Uh -huh. And then the second album came out like a year or so ago, two years ago. And there was a track that we did as a, the electric. We remixed the track, The Big BW. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, so, yeah. so you can find that. Off and, of uh, Boondigger. Yeah. BW. So in 2010, we went on tour with them um, all, over, all over Europe, all over the UK. And we became kind of part of their family in a sense, um, which was super dope. And at the moment, we're actually working on um, an EP together of different tracks. So, yeah, that'll come out maybe later this year. Yeah. Well, I know that you guys, you guys kind of share that quality of, of blending up genres in a new and interesting way. So it was really nice to hear, to hear your spin on Flashback. Also, on YouTube, I saw you guys were breaking down No Diggity with the grandma's hands and like breaking that whole thing down I absolutely love that I fell in love with that like do you really like to incorporate the, the original cuts in the soul how do you feel about incorporating that original kind of quality in with the with the new mix I think it's really important because not everybody knows our music and they need something to identify with and, and to know that we love the same music that they love yeah. you know? And of course, the skill with the mad skill with the samples here. Do you know what I mean? Like, mad skill with the samples. So, do you guys have anything in the works sort of coming up that you'd like to do? Like, do you have, after maybe this tour, try another record or collaborations? We have an EP with Fat Freddy's Drop. We mentioned yeah. the rest of the songs that we really like. And then a bunch of different remixes for so, groups all around uh, the world. Big, Big, Big BW will be on that? No, no, maybe actually. Why not? We haven't decided, but, uh, but I mean, after this tour, we've got, we're going to Brazil, we're going back to Europe, we're doing loads of festivals, yeah. um, so basically till September-ish time, well, even after that, till October, we're on the road. I mean, we're recording bits and pieces while we're going, and we've done lots of remixes for all kinds of people, um, so, we're, we're, and we've got lots of remixes of the, from the album coming out as well soon, yeah. so the next single, 2-2, two, two, comes out June the 5th. And then the single after that is called So Now You Know. That'll be out in the uh, end of summer. Yeah. So two two's the next video, and then uh, Overload It will be right after that on the video yeah. side. Yeah. So do you guys have a location to film that yet, the two two video? Oh, it's done. Oh, it's, it's done, done already? Yeah. Are you guys you're happy with it, excited for it to come out? Yeah. It's coming out like in uh, two weeks. Oh, right on. Yeah. And it's definitely like a way you've never seen any of us or a lot of other people. It's very different. It's very for real. Different. Yeah. Okay. A lot of creativity.